Communitas has a rich and long history of working in employment and operating social enterprises. And we really took a step back and said, why are we doing social enterprise? You know, there's all sorts of reasons to start a social enterprise. For us, we want to find ways for people who've been marginalized or maybe excluded from the workforce, from employment opportunities, to have a way to gain the skills they need, to have a way to demonstrate, hey, we can contribute just as much as anybody else and in unique ways. And so for us, that's what social enterprise is about. Work should be in the best form paid and it should be community-based and it should be normative. That is, it's work that other people would otherwise do if they weren't doing it. And that was sort of the foundational premise. Employment has helped me a lot in my recovery. When I was struggling and trying to get back to work, I had a lot of anxiety, I was depressed, I was recovering from schizophrenia but work has really helped me in the way that I'm getting out of the house, doing something I enjoy. I feel productive, I have a routine, I feel like I have purpose. Sometimes that exact pathway doesn't necessarily work for everyone, so we try to be really person-centered in our approach to employment. I would say that's where our best learning and our best practices have developed, is just from listening to the people that we support. The reality is that each person is unique in their needs, and so we try to adapt to that. Steve Thiessen came and asked me in 1985 if I would be willing to build the greenhouses for them. My wife said yes, I would be. <laughs> he had an idea of what he wanted, so we built 3,000 square feet of greenhouse, and it was very successful to begin with. They grew a very good product. Before I started working in the STEP program, my life was not going anywhere as I was recovering from mental health challenges and sleeping 18 hours a day. I started working one day a week, which over the years grew into full-time dedication. Most importantly, gave me confidence. It gave my life purpose and meaning, allowing me to grow as an individual, all while earning a paycheck. Hard work pays off, and so does having an employer who understands mental health. I would hope that, in some ways, the kinds of social enterprises that we're doing now actually wouldn't be needed in the future. I think that would be a sign of success, that our workforce, that our society has become so inclusive and uh, integrative of people with barriers that we no longer need a, a training social enterprise to integrate them into the workforce. I just really love the Communitas organization, but the organization is made up of the people, and it's the people, it's the connections, and the values, like the, the relationships, I guess. I keep going back to that, that you can belong and contribute to and grow in. I, I really believe that. So meaningful employment is important because it gives people a chance to flip that script to say, I can contribute and I can actually help other people. I might need help too, we all need help, you know, regardless of if you have a disability or not. To say, yes, I can be helped, but I can also help other people. I can help the community, I can help that customer. I can help you. Um, and I think that's really powerful, individually for that person, but also collectively as a society to say, hey, there are people who might have barriers, but it doesn't mean that they can't give back. It just means that the way they give back might look a little bit different.